When you first turn on your Chromebook, you're going to have to sign in with your APS account. That is your student number at APS.edu. Click Next, and then you're going to put your password, which is the same password that you use to sign into your computers at school. Click Next, and that will open up your Chromebook. Now that I'm signed into my Chromebook, I'm going to go to the Chrome browser and click on it. And that's going to launch the Google Home screen. In the top right corner, I see my icon that in that I am signed into my Google account. If I hover over that icon, I can see my account credentials, which should be your student number at APS.edu. All of my Google apps are tied to that account. And since the Chromebook automatically signs me in, I don't need to do anything other than sign into my Chromebook. Next to my icon on the top right is the Google Apps Launcher. It looks like a waffle. If I click on that and click on Google Classroom, I'm in my Google Classroom dashboard. So let's say you don't have a Chromebook at home and maybe you're sharing a computer with your parents, guardians, or your siblings. So let's talk about how to get into Google Classroom that way. The best way to access Google Classroom from a computer at home is using the Chrome web browser. Let's say you don't have the Chrome browser on your computer at home, you're going to have to download it. So go to whatever browsing software you have on your computer at home. In this case, I have Safari. And in the URL search bar, I'm going to go to www.google.com forward slash Chrome. When you go there, there will be a big blue button that says download Chrome. Please have whoever owns the computer at home download Chrome for that computer. Once you have Chrome installed on your system at home, go to the Chrome browser and you should be taken to the Google Home screen. If your audience already have a Google account, we'll talk about how to switch between those accounts in a little bit. But if it, this is the very first time that you have ever used Google, then you're going to have to sign into your Google account. I'm gonna be talking about two separate accounts today, your Google account and your Chrome account. This is how to sign into your Google account. If I go to the top right button right here that says sign in, I'm going to have to put in my email or phone number. Students all have a Google account. That is your student number at APS.edu. That is the account you're going to want to use to sign into Google. Once you put in that number, select next. Your password should be the password that you use to sign into all the computers at school when you use your student number at APS.edu. When you sign in this way, you're going to notice in the top right corner an icon that comes up with your initials. Now you know you are signed in to your Google account. Now let's say we are going to use Chrome, but let's say my family already has an account. So if that's the case, when I click on the Chrome icon to go to the browser, you may notice that there's an icon already signed in here. Now normally, we have told students to go to myaps.edu and then add your information this way. But I'm going to show you how that can get kind of confusing if you are using a Chrome account that isn't yours. Here's my image, and I know that this is my email address at APS, and I think I'm doing a really good job, but up here, that's not me, that's my mom. So if I go into Google Classroom right now, you're going to notice that it just kicked me out of my Google account. This is my mom. I don't want to be signed into my mom's account. I want to be in my own account. The thing with Google Classroom running through myaps.edu is it's going to pull whatever account is signed into the Chrome account. So now that we've talked about the Google account, let's talk about the Chrome account. If we go to google.com again, you're going to notice that there are two icons. There is an icon on the top, and there's also an icon on the bottom. Icon on the bottom is the Google account we just talked about signing into, and the one on the top is our Chrome account. And if those two aren't the same, they get some mixed messages. So the way to fix that is up on the top, they're gonna wanna have to set you up with an APS Chrome account. Very easy because you already have a Google account that ties to your Chrome account. I'm gonna click on the image in the top right corner right here and scroll all the way down to the bottom where there is a plus sign. 
When I click on that add button, it's going to take me to the screen where I can pick some icons. This screen is if you're trying to create a brand new account, so I wouldn't really worry about it so much. You can just go ahead and type your name up in here, and I'm going to add them. And what it's going to do is it's going to kick you over to make Chrome your own screen. And guess what? You already have a Chrome account. That is your APS Google account. So we're going to click on that Chrome user one and sign in. I'm back to a screen that looks really, really similar to when I signed into my Google account, but this time I'm going to sign into Chrome. I'm going to use the exact same credentials that I used before. This is your student number at APS.edu. I'm going to show you with a different account today. Just so we have a student account to show you how it works. You're going to use the exact same password that you used before when you were signing into your Google account. Now, when you first get signed in, it's going to ask you to link your data. Please select link your data so that way your Google account will work across all the different computers that you sign into. You're also going to want to turn on the sync. Now that I'm in my account, I'm going to see that there are two icons here that match. Now I know they can talk to each other. This is my Google account and on the top bar is my Chrome account. If you are sharing a computer at home with siblings or your parents, you just click on this top icon right here, and you're going to see that there's going to be a list of a whole bunch of different accounts. So if I click on my mom's account now, that'll open in a separate window and that will keep all of our stuff separated. Now that you know how to manage your Google account, please watch the other video about Google Classroom for students.